Galilee to the town of Bethlehem in Judea, the birthplace of King David. Joseph went there because he was a descendant of David. He went to register with Mary, who was promised in marriage to him. She was pregnant, and while they were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have a baby. She gave birth to her first son, wrapped him in strips of cloth, and laid him in a manger. There was no room for them to stay in the inn. The Word of God Almighty and merciful God, your hand is not short to reach, nor your ears to hear our prayers, to be revealed ever attentive to our supplication. Your children are in a grip of fear of this pandemic in different parts of the world. O oh Lord, calm down the storms of fear so that the government may take appropriate steps to open out the schools and colleges, so that our students may once again join a new world of knowledge and guidance. For this, we pray to you, Lord. Amen. For our parents, God of love, I thank you very much for the precious gift of our loving parents. I thank you for the love and affection and for the care they always give us. Bless their efforts and make us worthy of the love you show us to them. This we ask in thy name. Amen. Prayer for children. God, our Father, you have blessed us with the gift of children. Thank you for these precious gems which adorn our house. Their laughter gives us joy and brightens our lives. Their growth shows their mysteries of your love. May they experience your loving presence, advance in wisdom and grow in your love. Our children's future is in your hand. Help us to be true to our responsibility, thus to become what you want them to be. Amen. Prayer for the leaders. Divine ruler, pray for the leaders of our country. Bless each one of them with a generous heart so that they may serve the people nobly and work for the betterment of the country. Make them broad-minded and open to the needs of the country. Give them wisdom to lead and work with zeal for the peace of the country. For this we pray to you, Lord. Amen. Pray for the sick. O kind and merciful Father, we ask you to bless and help the sick in their suffering and restore them to health. Give them courage to be happy and cheerful in spite of their sufferings. Bless with patience and kindness to all the doctors nurses and others who look after them. For this we pray to you, O Lord. Amen. Merciful God, hear our reverent prayer for all who suffer from the coronavirus. May those who are infected receive that proper treatment and comfort of your healing presence. May their caregivers, families and neighbors be shielded from the onslaught of the virus. Give solace to those who grieve the loss of loved ones. Protect and guide those who strive to find a cure that their work may conquer the disease and restore communities to wellness and health. Help us to rise above fear. We also ask this through the intercession of our Lady of Lourdes and in the name of your Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Heavenly Father, we bring before you all the children that are going to appear for their forthcoming examination, ICSC and ISC. We also ask you to bless all the parents in a very special way so that they can guide and inspire the children to study well. Lord, we ask you to bless all the sisters, teachers, non-teaching staff with good health so that we can work together to make the St. Joseph Convent High School a better place for learning. In this we ask in your holy name. Amen. December is considered a great season of goodwill and merit. 
So Christmas has always been a time of family reunion. May your Christmas season be filled with joy and life. Hope your stockings stuck full of joy this year. Wishing you and your family peace, joy, love and the light of baby Jesus keep burning in every heart and for the coming new year. Thank you.
2020 has been for many of us very different, difficult, strange, hard and painful year. And for so many of us it has been very tough for so many families. It has been tough here because of the financial strains that they had to face. Poverty has gripped the whole world and uh, we know the struggles of the farmers protesting in Delhi in cold in this winter. We know uh, the millions of people who have been struggling in poverty, thousands of people, lakhs of people who have lost their life due to this pandemic. But with all this situation in all this condition, here comes Christmas and we are called to celebrate. 
and Christmas is nothing but a festival of hope. Christmas brings us the meaning of hope. It shows us that God is with us. God came into this world to be with us. In all the situations, through all the situations, God is there to guide us, to protect us and to save us. We are here. I'm alive today. I'm uh, in this video talking to you. You're alive today listening to me. This itself shows that we all need to be hopeful. Christmas is a festival of hope. We need to be hopeful because God saves. God is with us. God loves us and his love is everlasting. Children, if you have seen the crib in the school, in many many places, in churches, you would have seen cribs, no? So in crib, uh, there are many things that are there in crib it is placed. Like for example, there is an angel hanging, there is a star placed, there are shepherds there and you find the Christmas tree and you find this wreath is there, there is a mistletoe, there are a lot of you know symbols of Christmas. These symbols are not there in other seasons, but yes, during the season of Christmas and especially at the crib. Today, let's just take uh, the example of two symbols of Christmas. Okay, one is the star. What does the star symbolize? Star symbolizes hope. People who are sailing in dark, you know, when they see the star, they know uh, that there, there is hope. There is a star in the sky. Star, when we look at the star, it gives us a kind of uh, hope. It gives us a kind of joy. So star is again a symbol of hope. Uh, the three wise men in Christmas, they came looking for Jesus where Jesus was born. And it was the star that showed them the way to reach to Jesus. So star shows us the way. We today, we are called to reflect if I can be a star to someone. A star that shows the way that leads us to God. So there are many stars in our lives, isn't it? There are many cine stars and you know, we have our own star and there are various stars that we look at. But today in this Christmas, we are called to be stars, the star that shows the way to God. For someone who's struggling, for someone who's in sorrow, for someone who's in difficulty, if I can help in any way, I become a star to that person because I'm showing to that person, I'm showing a way that can lead that person, that can uh, help that person to get out of the difficulty. So I'm showing a way to the person and I am the star to that person. So Christmas reminds us, for all of us, it is a reminder that uh, if I can be a star in my life to the one who needs my help. And let's take the second example. We uh, take the example of the Christmas tree. If you have seen the Christmas tree, you know, you can see the tree, how tall it grows and you see the pine needles of the tree. It's always faced to heaven, you know, it is like, it is like uh, looking upward and the leaves, if you look at the, it's not called as leaf, you know, it is the ad adaptation of the leaf. But those pine needles, those needles are always green, you know, the branches are always green. So this again shows us hope, okay. That, uh, you know, it is always green. There is hope. There is life. And the Christmas tree always looks upward to the heaven. So we are also called, taking the example of this Christmas tree, to look up to heaven. To, the he to heaven where the Lord resides. God dwells. So we need to look up to the Lord always whenever we are in problems, we are in difficulties. And pray that God may help us to sail through these difficulties. You know, faith, when we have faith in God, what is faith? Faith is not, not something that will help us to come out of the difficulties. But he, uh, faith will give us the strength to face the difficulties. So Christmas tree shows us that, you know, look at heaven and look at the Lord. Look for the Lord. So uh, my dear children, my dear teachers, my dear parents, let us become like that Christmas tree, always remaining evergreen, hopeful with new life and looking into heaven. So... With these two examples, I would like to tell you or uh, wish you a very happy Christmas. Let us all remain hopeful. Let us all remain joyful. Let us all remain in faith that God will help us. God will save us 
and God will give us strength to face all these problems and difficulties. Let this Christmas be a grace-filled Christmas for all of us. Thank you. Merry Christmas and wish you all a very happy new year.